up guys, it's Nightmare Reaps here bringing you a Black Ops 2 Capture the Flag gameplay commentary where surprisingly, believe it or not, I actually won this game by myself. Um, I'm not running with a team or anything, it's just me. And I've always said in the past, you know, you can't win by yourself, you always need a team. But I guess the other team was really that bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, today's topic is really, really depressing, uh, as you can see in the title or the info of the video. Uh, last week, or I, I don't know, last week, a few days ago actually, for those of you who don't know, if you don't watch the news, which I'm surprising, I'll be surprised if you haven't heard about it. It's all over Facebook, it's all over the news, the, the internet, it's everywhere. Uh, the massacre that happened in Connecticut uh, took the lives of more than 20 kids, teachers, adults. Like it, it, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, apparently, what happened is that uh, the son of a teacher went to the school armed with two handguns, uh, probably pistols, nine millimeters, Berettas, and just started spraying. Killed the teacher. Went into a classroom. Killed all the little kids. And yeah, <laughs> that's. It might you, you guys might be like, I don't give a fuck, but dude. Something like this, I don't know, I'm not a parent, and I feel bad, and if I was a dad, that would be, I would feel even worse, I already know. So for something like this to happen in the U.S., it's, most of you might not care, especially if you're watching Call of Duty, because, you know, you guys kill virtual enemies all the time, but for me, it's real, you know, it's something that happened, it's something that could have happened here, you know, and um, where I grew up, it's a really rough neighborhood, it's, and uh, I'm used to this sort of thing all the time, but I don't know why this one affected me so much. And, uh, all the little kids, you know, it's, it's really depressing, it really is. And uh, it sucks. <laughs> I, just, I just, you know. And uh, they, find the guy, they found the guy dead inside the, uh, oh, there's a fail right here. Yeah, how did that guy kill me? Oh, the fucking evil. Um... Anyways, uh, th they found the guy dead inside the classroom, so uh, I, at first, because the way I heard about it was I was at work, and people just started mentioning a massacre, and I'm like, what happened? One massacre, and I was like, it just happened about an hour ago, and I was like, what? And I uh, turned on the news when I got home, got on the internet, you know, started seeing these 20-something kids died in shoot out. And then I actually watched the President Obama's statement about regarding the massacre. And, uh, he was saying that he gives all his condolences to the nation, especially the the family of the loved ones that got hurt or affected in the in the shootout. Uh, and not to mention, dude, if I survived the shootout like that, I'd be traumatized. Like, really, guy comes into my classroom and starts killing all my friends. I I would never want to go to school again. I tell my parents to homeschool me. Like, I'm serious. So. And, and we were talking about this on the podcast, and it's it was acid sense something on the podcast that really made um it, it makes sense, but I don't know it's it's a little I don't know like acid said millions of kids die every single day or not day but you know okay if we talk about days we're talking about probably thousands thousands of kids die every day in Africa from hunger from disease from sickness from not having enough clean water, <laughs> being exposed, all those things. And, uh, you know, people out here don't care about it. And it's true. If you go and ask anyone out here, people don't care about other people's problems, you know. As, well, as long as it doesn't affect their lives out here in the U.S., they don't really care. But now that's something, the fraction as bad as happened here on on American soil now they're freaking out now they're like wow you know this, this it's real it's real life it's it's no joke it's not a video game it's not a game it's it's little lives you know it's, it's damn. <sighs> it just sucks man and uh, I don't know I don't know I, I, and like another, like I was driving home right now. I went to go drop off my girl. I was going to school, 
So on the way back, I heard it on the radio, you know, and I'm all the way in California. So, you know, apparently my radio station out here, they're, they're like um, getting money to donate for the families that need it in Connecticut, you know, they're going to rally up some money and give it away to the, to the mayor or something like that. And even President Obama said that uh, he was going to do anything in his power and give the mayor of Connecticut, of the town that it happened in, uh, yeah, the town. Um, they was going to give him all the resources he needed, like everything, like the FBI, like everything. Like, there, there was nothing that he couldn't get. And I give him a, ooh, I got headshotted by something. Um, so yeah, the, the Obama's being really supportive, which is good. You know, and he also said something that or it kind of touched me, I guess. And um, he said that when he heard about the news, he didn't react as a pre president, but he reacted as as a parent. You know, he reacted as a dad, and because he knows the pain it would feel, like he knows what it would be like if his daughter died in a shootout at school. So he he was like really feeling it. Like he 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 started crying in the in the little you conference on the White House, and uh, yeah, sorry about that host migration. I'll probably skip it or something. I don't know. Never mind. I'm too lazy to edit that out. You guys are just gonna have to sit through it. And uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the topic. Um, I don't know if I really skipped anything or if I really said anything, but. Uh, I just, I just wanted to talk, get, get this out of my system, you know. Cause this is one of those things in the back of my head that it's, it's like crap. It sucks. And this guy won't get out of my way. And I am tired. I'm so tired. I'm uploading this on Tuesday or actually Monday. Oh, I was gonna supposed to upload this last night, but. <sighs> And well, Christmas is among us. It's coming up next week on Tuesday. It's actually a week away from tomorrow. What do you guys want for Christmas? Like, I actually might do that commentary next. Um, uh, that'll be uh, Tuesday's commentary. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys like the gameplay. It's about to be over in a, a minute or so. Uh, actually, right now. So, enjoy it. Enjoy the victory. Oh wait, no, they returned the flag. Never mind. I got my hopes up. Oh, 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 let go of my flag, son. Um. Uh, I feel stupid. All right. Little last ending question for the commentary. Uh, do you prefer pop tarts or toaster strudel? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, that can be right. Um. So, by the way, sorry I sound so shitty. I'm just really tired. I've been working a lot these past few days. Uh. Yeah. There's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for the new subs, by the way. Really means a lot. Dude, how? What? It said I get hit markers. How the fuck did I miss him? My bullets like went sideways.